So up to this point, we, uh, we, you know, we created uh, a simple Angular uh, client, uh, just some, a couple of navigation between login, register, and profile. Uh, we, um, you know, we, we play around with a service uh, that uses local hard-coded arrays. But really, we want to go fetch this data you know, remotely you know, onto, from the server. Right? And, and indeed, we had already started implementing some of these services. Uh, and, and so we're going to start and, 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 uh, and integrate our uh, Angular applications with these uh, RESTful services. Okay? Uh, we should probably already have uh, some courses stored in a database. We have um, uh, with some IDs, some titles, some whatnot. And, uh, and probably already have a Java a RESTful controller that's exposing this data set in, in, a, uh, in an API. So we probably already have that. We have a repository um, uh, that uh, retrieves courses. Uh, and then exposes them into from a through an API through courses, right? Like find all courses, um, and uh, and hopefully this is, it re returns something like this, right? The IDs and titles and whatnot. Okay. All right. So let's let's verify that we do have that. If not, let's uh, let's build it. Uh, let's see. We uh, we had a project here uh, open recently. We might have uh, server Java. This might be it. Uh, let's see how far we got there. Um, looks like we had a course controller for retrieving all the all the courses. Uh, let's see if this still works. Let's uh, run this. And uh, if that's uh, successful, uh, I, we should be able to hit the um, the RESTful service, which is API courses. So let's say it would be localhost 8080 slash API courses. And indeed, it returns this data. You have 5610, 4500, 3500, and 5500. Yes? All right, excellent. We have, we have Abemu's data. Uh, so let's create a, a client on the, uh, on the uh, an Angular client that can retrieve that, that information, OK? Um, all right, so, so to do that, you know, we had created a directory where, that calls services where we can put all our service access in there, yes? Uh, so we'll have, you know, following the naming convention that we described earlier, right, we're going to create a course service navigator, right? a course client. Um, uh, typically, we would have one um, service file per data model, right? One for courses, one for modules, one for. Instead, you know, I'm, I'm a little lazy, so I'm going to put everything in one single place, right? In one single service, right? So, so let's uh, on the services, we're going to create this file, right? And uh, services new file. It's a new TS file, uh, and in there, uh, we're going to make an injectable. Course Navigator Service Client. Okay. Uh, let's see. There it is. Um, is this not it? Let's see. Maybe, maybe it's the wrong one. Oh, I think it's just Angular Core. Angular Core. Angular Core. There we go. Or maybe not. Is misspelled injectable Angular Core. All right, I must have misspelled something. <laughs> um, all right, excellent. So in the Course Navigator client, what we'd like to be able to do is is have functions such as find all courses, right? Find all modules for a particular course, and so on and so forth, right? Uh, so, for instance, let's start off with find all courses. This looks, this looks almost identical to what we did in in Angular. Uh, in React, right? So it should look fairly similar, familiar. So there it is. Find all courses, does a fetch, goes out and fetches the courses, returns a promise, you know, parses it, parses the body, and returns that array. Okay. Uh, so if that's true, uh, then we can start using it, right? We, we uh, by by declaring as a, as a provider in the ng module app so that uh, everybody else can start injecting it, 
right? So let's go to app modules. Let's declare it as a provider. Right here, it'll be not only user uh, service, but there's also course provider. There it is. This course navigator provider. Uh, not implement. I want to. I want to uh, load it. Okay. All right. There it is. So it imported it. Excellent. Uh, now that it's available, I can start, you know, start querying it from uh, somewhere, right? In this particular case, perhaps in a course list, uh, in, a, in a column renderer for, for courses. Right? So let's do that uh, next.